Can this be repaired? I, I do think it can be repaired. Um, I mean, Israel and um, the Obama administration have 22 more months to work together. Uh, there's a very serious agenda, foreign policy agenda, given what's happening with Iran. The, the real question is whether President Obama is in a position to put aside the bickering yeah. and realize that his deal with Iran is filled with concessions. And those concessions are what's disturbing Israel because Iran is, as, as most Americans know, an ex existential threat for Israel's security. Right, and especially with their supreme leader saying death to America uh, over this past weekend, blowing up mock U.S. warships, it amazes me the confidence that this president has in thinking that they would in any way approach negotiations with anyone uh, in, in any manner of good faith, which is why I find it so shocking that they're accusing Israel, I mean, their word, espionage, that seems like a hefty charge simply for uh, a leader in a country that's worried about this threat that Iran poses. What do you make of this? Well, from Israel's perspective, it's certainly outrageous and absurd, and the Israeli government has denied the charge. What appears to have happened is the Israelis have intercepted communications, according to the Wall Street Journal, of the world powers negotiating with Iran. And the Americans were aware of it. The American government, according to the Wall Street Journal, was upset because uh, the Israeli government presented the findings to Congress. It strikes me as odd that um, a foreign government needs to be transparent and present findings to Congress, but the Obama administration is not prepared to disclose that information. This is an administration that contends to be the most transparent government in the history of American politics. So Israel, and I, it's understandable, and I think it, there's common knowledge about this, that Israel is going to be surveilling these talks because Iran's threatened to uh, annihilate the mm -hmm. Jewish state. The question is... Um, where did Israel get the information aside from surveillance? Israel has allies in Europe. They're meeting with the French right, right now. They have close relations with the Germans. These governments have been, have been providing, based on my assessment, more information to the Israelis than the United States. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and the idea that somehow it's subversive to inform an equal branch of government in the United States, the legislative branch, uh, I, 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 I'm under the impression that this, this our president seems to that he he seems to think that our enemy our allies our enemy and our enemy is our uh, ally he's treating Iran with some deference that should be given to Israel and treating Israel as though they're the ones who've been calling us the great Satan and are demanding concessions and and for instance the UN is snap inspections brushing those off as if that's nothing I have no idea what confidence the administration has since he doesn't seem to Benjamin so eager to share it with Congress uh, what do you make of, of this this assuredness that this president seems to have with Iran's negotiations. I mean, obviously, Netanyahu and uh, the in Israel don't share it. Right. Well, the Obama administration, based on the contours of the deal that we've read in the press, will allow uh, Iran to enrich uranium. The deal will probably last 10 years and expire after 10 years, at which time Iran will have the legal right to develop a nuclear weapon. And that's what, of course, is sending the Israeli government mm -hmm. into a state of panic. And I would add the Arab governments in the region, Saudi Arabia and other U.S. allies in the Gulf, are also um, in a state of anxiety and panic about the Obama administration's deeply flawed agreement with Iran. And Obama tends, to, I, I believe Obama sees this as a signature achievement in his foreign policy, but it's turning out to be arguably the most dangerous foreign policy agreement over the last, um, I would argue, 50 years. 